fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we take a closer look at the toys we talk about on the show and today we are taking a look at the PDD himself, Prophet Director Destro. So this just came in for me from uh, from Hasbro Pulse. Super excited about this figure. Um, you know, it, it, the, the, the G.I. Joe classified line has definitely been one of those kind of sleeper lines for me. Um, you know, I, I grew up with my, with, with playing with Dave's, uh, O-Ring G.I. Joes. I had a couple myself, eventually had some of the Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat, uh, G.I. Joes that, uh, that came out, um, in, in that style, but then kind of fell off of it. Uh, stayed with the three and three quarter figures, you know, moving into Star Wars and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, th this G.I. Joe classified line kind of snuck up on me. So this is my my third of the uh, the G.I. Joe classified figures. Um, I'm kind of cherry picking here. So I have no real uh, kind of a attachment to the characters. It's more for me about the design. Um, so I have Snake Eyes because I saw so many amazing uh, photos out there from all the toy photographers. And I, you know, I absolutely love that figure and, you know, he's just a badass ninja. So, um, I ended up getting, picking up him and then of course Cobra Commander because, I mean, it's, it's just, he's perfect. Uh, it's such, such a cool figure. It's not the Cobra Commander that I remember from, you know, my childhood. I, I remember the hood, but, uh, you know, 2020 making a figure with a hood, kind of rough. But, uh, you know, I, I was really excited at this variant here of, of Destro, um, kind of, with the burning money and the the sungla the pink sunglasses and the, the gold accents and the leopard print uh, cape, uh, it just it it spoke to me. It, in fact, it sung to me. So I, I had to pick this up. Um, you know, uh, uh, Lenny Panzika and the team at Hasbro are doing an incredible job with with this line. They're just making such cool figures. Before we switch over to the other view and take a closer look at this figure, let's take a quick look at the packaging and it is just as loud <laughs> as the figure is. Um, you know, we have, in, instead of like the, the normal writing here, we have we have a nice uh, embossed gold writing of, of G.I. Joe classified series as well as Profit Director Destro here. Some great art. Um, each one of these figures is designed by a different artist. Uh, the, the packaging is designed by a different artist, and they do such a great job of kind of bringing the energy of the figure to life. And this totally like screams uh, figure. And if you if you know the history of Prophet Director Destro, um, he has a long and, and storied past. Uh, going back to a paint variant with a, a nickname that will will leave to your imagination. Uh, on the back, of course, we have the, the, the full layout of all the figures and all the characters, um, you know, some of which have been difficult to find for a lot of collectors, but uh, this line is definitely singing. Uh, it, it's, doing a, it's doing a very, very good job here. You know, on the side, we, we have the, the Cobra, Cobra logo as well as uh, the, the name again, and a uh, Cobra logo, logo up there on, on top. Um, and then he is number 15 uh, in the collection. So with that, let's switch to the other view and let's take a closer look at Profit Director Destro. Your mission and your life and here and now, fool. All right, so here we have him, Profit Director Destro in all of his glory. Look at this figure, my goodness. Um, so let's, let's take a, a look at what he comes with first and foremost. So I have him all geared up here, but we have the sunglasses, we have the briefcase, um, inside the briefcase here, there's a really good amount of detail. Um, we actually have, uh, you could see like a computer, he's got a storage. It looks like there are bills here on the top of the computer, which is awesome. Um, you know, inside, you know, we have a, a keyboard and the Cobra logo. You can absolutely store stuff in there, like a stack of burning bills that he comes with. Um, you know, like, like all of the other G.I. Joe characters, um, you know, he is able to very easily hold, uh, everything. You know, his, his hand is, you know, it's just standing there with burning money. I mean, how, how cool is that? It's the coolest. Some men just like to watch the world burn. Um, he also comes with this cape, 
Uh, the cape just kind of slides right on, and uh, he does have a hole in his back, which is good to remember because if you have um, other accessories from the G.I. Joe line, they can absolutely plug into that. Uh, and he does come with a golden sidearm here, which fits snugly into his uh, his holster. And again, you know, just like the other G.I. Joe figures, you can very easily peg it in, holds it nicely. Uh, it's it's wonderful. All right, so, uh, and then I guess we can also count it as an accessory to his, his little amulet here. So let's get into the, um, the detail, uh, the paint and detail here. So it is gorgeous. Now I don't have the other, uh, the other Destro figure to compare this to. I don't, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that everything is just repainted, um, but is the same overall, but the, the leopard print on the collar, the, the, the amulet, the actual face, the detail on the face itself, you could see the light bouncing off of the gold here. There's a nice metallic sheen to it, which is great. Um, he does have a, a great uh, amount of detail to just kind of sculpt it in. You can see kind of the, the, uh, the tooling in his, uh, in his belt, in his, you know, upper, the upper part of his kind of jumpsuit here, um, onto the back, the shoulders, and nothing is kind of encumbered. You know, he, he still has full range of motion, even with all that sculpting. He does have some, some missiles sculpted onto his wrist here. Um, the gun has, uh, has great detail in it, very futuristic look to it. Uh, I do have, you know, in, in terms of like blemishes and everything, there is a little tiny, uh, you can kind of see it here, uh, a little tiny blemish in the paint on the, the leopard, but to be honest, it kind of just blends into the leopard print anyway. Um, so it's, it's not nothing really to shake a stick at, as they say. Um, the, uh, the, the holster, uh, as I mentioned, functions really nicely. Uh, the, the, it's a little bit of a soft rubbery kind of feel to it. So the gun um, goes in and stays in snugly. You know, that's a definitely not coming out. Um, Going down to the legs, you know, the, the the leopard print theme continues. Great detailing in his in his knees uh, and and onto his boots as well. In terms of articulation, so that's about as far as down as he can look, and that's about as far up as he can look. Um, not a whole lot in the way of uh, articulation in the head, mainly because of the giant collar here. There is a secondary. Um, joint there you can kind of see it moving you know uh, that seam by the amulet there but uh he does have a second joint for for neck movement um shoulders he's got that kind of like almost a butterfly joint uh, you know what well we, we can go and say that that's a full butterfly joint i mean you can get those arms pretty far back uh as you could see there uh as well as pretty far forward you know you could do stuff like the the fake kind of crossing your arms sort of thing with him. Um, he is pretty muscular and bulky, so, uh, you know, keep that in mind. He does have the, uh, the bicep swivel there. He has a double jointed elbow. And then he, again, with, I love that Hasbro is doing this with characters that hold weapons or especially firearms. Um, he has the, the, the wrist articulation. So that way you can tilt his, his hand up and down. Um, moving on to his torso he has quite a bit of an ab crunch here um he can bend that far forward that far back he can kick pretty much into a split which is great um he has the the dropped legs that we've we saw on snake eyes and we we've also seen on spider-man now where you can pull them down and kind of get some additional um some additional articulation out of them. Really great touch. I love that they're incorporating that into these figures. It really helps get, get these guys into some poses. We do have the um, upper thigh cut. We have the double jointed knee and he can kick himself in the butt. We have a uh, rotation at the top of the boot here, the calf. And then we have pivot and swivel on the foot, which is amazing. So again, full range of, of articulation uh, on Destro. And like I had mentioned, um, what's really great about these Joe figures is they can carry everything and carry everything in con different configurations, right? So if I want to, I can, 
let's see, let's, this hand is a little bit more flexible because I was playing with it a little bit. So let's get the briefcase in there. Let's get the cape on real quick. Cape fits on nicely there. Let's get the the burning money in his hand. And then we'll get, last but not least, we'll get his sunglasses on. And we already have his, his uh, gun holstered there. So, I mean, it's just like, can you get any cooler than, than Destro right there? So we have Profit Director Destro. Let's see how he compares with some other figures, right? So uh, maybe his, uh, his, his boss here is stopping in to say, you know, to give him some orders, you know, give him what for. Don't burn that money. You know, something like that. So, of course, he scales really well with Cobra Commander. Um, how about somebody from Marvel Legends? Here he is with Wolverine. How about somebody from a different toy line? So, let's pull out, pull these out all together. How does he scale with somebody like from McFarlane? So, um, Spawn is going to tower over him a little bit. And I, right now I have Spawn holding a NECA gun, but still pretty badass looking. Um, Spawn is a little bit taller than some of these other heroes and bad guys. So, um, you know, it's, it's, you know, play, play to what you like. But I, th I think he looks pretty cool too. Here he is with your diamond Bruce Lee figure. Um, also, not bad. Uh, pretty, pretty decent scale. I mean, Bruce Lee is going to be a little bit bigger. Those diamond figures are a little bit larger to begin with, but overall looks great with, uh, with that. And then of course it wouldn't be a comparison video, right? If we didn't pull him up with the child and there we have him there with, with the child, with baby Yoda. So let's flip it back to the other view and let's wrap it up. So what can we say about Profit Director Destro? I mean, this is another just slam dunk of a figure from Hasbro and from uh, from Lenny and the team at the uh, that are that are working on these. I mean, this is just another it's another work of art in a figure. Um, I absolutely love it. It's absurd. It is um, you know it it is an exercise in making something that is absolutely absurd. Uh, a reality and they they absolutely nailed it with this figure so i can't i can't wait to see the the variations of these um of these characters as they continue to go on missions um you know it's just uh, yeah it's 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 an exciting time to be a collector with all of the cool stuff out here like this so uh that being said you know make sure you hit that subscribe button uh down here so that way you don't miss videos like this as as we take closer looks at toys um, while you're subscribing to things, make sure you, uh, follow us here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter, where we're constantly posting toy news, toy photography, uh, anything that's, that's within the, the realm of toys we're, we're always working on. And then of course, where it all began, the podcast. So we're live every other Monday. Sometimes we have special episodes sprinkled in, um, but definitely, Take a listen to our podcast. You can find Adventures in Collecting wherever you listen to podcasts, or you can click that link below in the description, um, and it'll take you to our website where you can pick where you want to listen to us. Uh, Profit Director Destro is in stock right now on Hasbro Pulse as of the recording of this video. That's where we got him from. Um, it, it is uh, People are finding him at GameStop, I believe, as well. But again, this is just a, a home run of a figure. Stick around after the fade. We'll have some fun with uh, some additional photos. And as always, until next time.